So four and a half to go, and this one bears up by 12, but struggling a little bit offensively, and another turnover from Ryan as Moffat's hand in his face. Jones actually had a block, like a behind-the-back block. On Lazar. But he did deflect it out of bounds, so it will stay with 32 seconds on the shot clock with Edgemont shot clock's 35 seconds, eight minute quarters. A crowd of Bears going up to block it. Ended up with Palmer and it will stay with Edgemont. And then you can hear Coach Moffat saying, why so many guys collapsing onto one player? I just said there are three, three Bears, they love to collapse on them and make it tough. But with a little vision from the offensive player, Henry, a little bit of vision and maybe not as much drive to the rack. There could be players wide open on other parts of the floor that have open shots. Here is Klein, called his name a lot. He's done most of the heavy lifting and he draws another foul. So another bear with two fouls. Klein's been pretty good tonight in this first half. Just under four minutes to go in this half of play. Low scoring. You can see that, Henry, there's a lot of rust. Apparently, Edgemont has played one game thus far this season, but this is the season opener for the Bears, a Friday night at home. You can see there's, there's some rust as Edgemont now has gone on a 5 nothing run. As one of the better names on this floor, Cornell Fisher checks in. Rice trying to go inside. It was deflected, and another turnover for the Bears on offense. They've had a bunch of trips lately with turnovers. And the defense hasn't been there lately to pick up for it. Another two for Edgemont. Klein's been busy. Now the Bears trying to answer quickly. Ryan trying with a three. It's good. So JR gets the Bears back on track with a triple. Back to a double digit lead, 11 points, but a three back, no good. And an over the back foul. Actually, that's Meshach Goey, not Cornell Fisher on the floor. And so the Bears are already in the bonus now. Seven, 7,000, you get to the bonus. So Jack will go to the line for a one and one which means if you make the first, you get a second. If you don't make the first, you're done. Too strong, but it ends up between the Twin Towers. Neither of them could corral it. And back in the hands of Bayer. Jones stripped it, great play by him, and the Bears have three on one, Ryan himself. And that's five straight for the Bears to answer that Edgemont run. 24 to 11, 2.45 to go in this one, in the first half. Goey spins, and he does get the friendly roll, and Edgemont wants a timeout. We will step aside and be back in a moment. 